And now we'd like to introduce you to Theo Candel. How could anybody ever know me like you? How could anybody do the things you do? Cause the world gets scarier, the world gets tough And one day I don't know if I'll be enough How could anybody ever know me like you? How could anybody say the things you say? How could anybody make me feel okay? Like when I was crying to you sitting in the parking lot You told me I was special when I know I'm not, yeah How could anybody say the things you say? Oh my God, I'm falling for you all over again well, I'm just writing you a love song it's not the first, but it's a good one You got me shaking like a heart attack Cause how could anybody ever know me like that? I'm not good at my emotions They toss and turn like the oceans I just want to tell you that you're all I have How could anybody ever know me like that? Yeah How could anybody see the things we've seen? Travel the world from California to Chamonix Oh, we wandered those streets and we drank some wine We cooked up our dinner on the mountainside yeah. How could anybody see the things we've seen? Oh my God, I'm falling for you I'm just writing you a love song It's not the first, but it's a good one It got me shaking like a heart attack Cause how could anybody ever know me like that? I'm not good at my emotions They toss and turn like the oceans I just want to tell you that you're all I have How could anybody ever know me like that? Yeah Oh, how could anybody How could anybody that is just beautiful wow Thank you sound like a man in love was that written about somebody uh it was unfortunately oh. so oh. <laughs> my first question is always how can you be so young and so deep <laughs> how, i agree how, that kind of heartfelt <sighs> expression thank you that is I, one of my favorite songs that I've heard from you and in general in a very long time. So thank you for opening with that. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it is, it is beautiful. It made me think a lot of, actually, when you say deep, I, it made me think so much of my husband. I feel that way about him and we've been married for 15 years, but some of those thoughts were like year 14. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought that was very insightful. Yeah, it, it, I ask people what they think if that song is happy or sad. And I, I think it kind of goes both ways because yeah. now in hindsight, it's a sadder song for it me. But I think yeah. you're in the midst of it. Um, I don't know. It's, it's that yeah. feeling. It's, it, it's something for everyone. You interpret it in a different way, depending on the stage that you're in. Yeah. I think that's, that's true. So Theo, tell us, tell us, how'd you get started? Where the music, where does the music come from? So I actually started playing violin. I'm also a violinist uh, when I was four. Uh, and so I, I went on that whole classical track um, for a long time. Did and you play Suzuki? Oh, of course. Of course. I had Mrs. Primrose. She made me memorize all the way up through book eight. Yep. <laughs> I, think I also made it to book eight. And, uh, and after that, I ended up doing a little jazz violin. Really? Um, which was cool. Uh, 
turns out not that many people want to listen to jazz violin but it was a good um a good way to get into like the improvisational aspect of music. absolutely i mean you learn the structure of chords and the underpinning and how to freestyle and everything in a way that i had never learned before i just dabbled in it after playing classically a little bit of fiddle a little yeah. bit of jazz but yeah it's it's amazing but so then when did you when did you change over to your guitar so I started playing guitar when I was 12. Um, my sister had been taking lessons mm -hmm. before that, and I would always take her guitar and like try to learn some stuff, and then she would get mad at me. Um, but then eventually I started taking lessons, and then that's when I started writing songs too. So At age 12. Yeah, some, and... bad, some really bad songs. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to pull from that anthology, but I'm sure there are others to work from actually played one of those songs at a show of mine a couple of years ago as a you know as a joke and it did not hold up <laughs> <laughs> oh that is awesome um so where are you from like uh where do you live and where do you tour tell us more about your career right now i'm from new york city originally i grew up in in manhattan in midtown manhattan right in the thick of it um, and so I started playing shows when I was 18 or 17 or 18. I just started emailing random places like mm -hmm. Arlene's Grocery, Pianos, The Bitter End, like those kind of smaller um, venues, which was really fun. And so that was kind of my first experience um, performing. And then I went to Vanderbilt University in Nashville and graduated in 2019 and majored in English. So... I majored in English. We're living a parallel life. What is going on right now? I was, I was a major in English with a concentration in creative writing. And then I uh, minored in sociology and French. Uh, oh my gosh, that is very cool. Around in Nashville for two years. And now I live in Los Angeles. I just moved here in May. So it's been- I live in Southern California also. What? We must meet in person. <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. So you're out there in LA and you are um, you just released an EP. Have yep. you signed with a label? Nope, completely Not... right now. I'm just trying to forge my own path and Love it. You know, whatever comes, comes. How's it going? It's going good. It's it's interesting moving to a new city. Like every day I wake up and it's, it's sunny and clear and warm. Yeah. And Maybe. coming from New York myself, it took that was the longest adjustment to make was, oh, my God, I don't have to rent outside because the sun is going to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's not the only sunny day in my week. It's, <laughs> it's nice. And it also means that I can't write sad songs anymore because there's nothing to be Too sad. Much good stuff. <laughs> I think that's great. Well, so do you have uh, another song that that uh, you'd like to share? I do. Um, so this song I wrote, I guess, about two years ago. It was when I graduated college and had kind of moved to Nashville. I just moved across town, but it still felt like moving. And mm -hmm. you know, all my friends were moving home after college. And uh that feeling of getting older, you know, that post-grad depression and being like, mm -hmm. what am I doing with my life? Yeah. Uh, and so this one's called Older Now. Well, here it is. our last licks and scrolling through the pictures on my phone I'm on and off today I'm sorry that I moved so far away I wish I'd had the chance to say I know that people they can change but friends will stay the same no matter where And sometimes life it isn't fair The first green's always gold The weather's getting cold And we said when we got older We'd have 
time to figure it out So why do I feel older now? You know when you're a kid Your parents seem so big And your life is yours to live for you Now I'm a college grad I'm the same height as my dad I think I've got his laughter too I'm on and off today I'm sorry that I moved so far away I wish I'd had the chance to say I know that people they can change family stays the same no matter where and sometimes life it isn't fair the first green's always gold the weather's getting cold and we said when we got older we'd have time to figure it out so why do i feel older now when i'm alone I'm sinking like a stone I'm driving circles round the block Where do I go? The truth is I don't know What I am And what I'm not I don't really know myself Maybe I'm just talking to myself I don't really know myself at all I'm on and off today I'm sorry that I moved so far away I wish I'd had the chance to say I know that people they can change And I won't stay the same, nobody does you always got the ones you love The first green's always gold The weather's getting cold And we said when we got older We'd have time to figure it out So I guess I'm getting older now Ah. Uh. That was beautiful. And, and and we just find you on on iTunes or what, wherever streaming music yeah, is iTunes, streamed? Music, Spotify, YouTube, um, Theo Candel. That's, I, I, it might be on the screen, but K-A-N-D-E-L. It's okay. pronounced like Howie Mandel, spelled like candle with a K and the L. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to go download that right, right today. The EP is also a visual EP, so... If you go on YouTube, you can watch all the music videos for the songs. Oh my gosh, that's fabulous. We are so there. Theo, thank you for joining us today. This was so wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. We'll see you again. Thank you.